and says that money is guaranteed no matter who's in government. Now, there was a bit of a political undertone at the end of the announcement. David Mouche praised Duncan and Windsor West MPP Sandra Pupatello for their commitment to the community and to the hospital. He says, no matter your political allegiance, they delivered. Now, speaking of politics, Susan, this is the eve of the official launch of the provincial election campaign. And we asked Duncan how he felt the tone was going to be this time. The answer later on in the show. Okay, thanks so much, CBC's Sean Henry. Well, as you know, this was the first day of school for tens of thousands of students across Windsor-Essex. But today at the university, it was not quite business as usual. That's because of student activists. Pat Jefflin has more. The yellow tape outside the financial aid office at the University of Windsor is part of a province-wide campaign by the Canadian Federation of Students. We have exactly one month before the provincial election. And so what students are doing is we're symbolically taking over financial aid offices as a way to get um, all political parties' attention so that they will put education on the agenda this year. The activists want tuition fees reduced. And we are demanding uh, for all of the parties to immediately commit to a tuition fee reduction. Under the Liberal government's watch, unfortunately, tuition fees have skyrocketed. Students are now paying the highest fees in the entire country, and we're graduating with the highest amount of debt in Canadian history. Like six years ago, was, I paid $4,800, and when I ended my last year, I paid $6,700 for my tuition. So it has skyrocketed. Across campus, the Liberal candidate for Windsor West was campaigning on a new promise by the party to reduce tuition fees by up to 30%. It would start in January for eligible students. Full-time students with a family income of up to $160,000. So when we look at uh, registrations and when we look at current figures, up to 86% of our current uh, post-secondary students will be eligible for this grant. The president of the University of Windsor Student Alliance is a liberal himself, and he endorsed the plan today. This is the only plan I've heard as of now, and as I said, I really hope to see other parties do the same thing and make education um, the cornerstone of their platforms. But the Take It Over campaign intends to stay nonpartisan. They want students to get involved politically and pressure all the politicians to make education a key issue. I'm going to read this pamphlet when I get home and see what I can do to help out not only myself, but the fellow students that I go to school with. This parent from Mississauga brought his son to register today. He says education issues will definitely influence his vote. Because this is a quite heavy burden on the parents. Um, we are forced to take an OSAP because we can't afford it. The Take It Over campaign plans to put out a report card on the various party platforms relating to tuition and education in general. Pat Jefflin, CBC News, Windsor. And meanwhile, at colleges across Ontario today, students still face long lineups and admissions. College administrators are trying to keep things going despite the strike that started last Thursday. There's no immediate end in sight to that strike. 8,000 college support staff.